On the 6th of January this year, we were due to move the yacht into dry dock. Uh, this involves uh, disconnecting all the shore supplies, the mooring ropes and the gangways. Once we'd uh, disconnected the power supply, we'd basically become a dead ship and then we rely on two tugs to tow us round and then tow us, put us into dock and then the dock master would then guide us into the dock and set us up in the docking position. For the move round, um, we actually crewed the ship um, for all the moorings and the majority of my, my staff are ex-RN, led by an ex-chief bosun. So we had someone who knew his ropes and knew moorings uh, very well and we had two parties of four, one on the forecastle, one on the stern. Right from the word go, there's been a tremendous team effort. The weather was unceasingly mild when we were in dry dock, so that was a real, real bonus to help with the, the paint finishing. Um, but the way the team will work together has been tremendous. Very, very proud of them all. Uh, not just the maintenance team, but also the, the housekeeping team and the others, you know, including the guides and security, who have all been mucking in. The work package that we had put together for the dry docking consisted of basically the main and, and, and the most important one was getting an underwater inspection of the hull which hadn't been seen since 1998. I think the dry docking's gone extremely well over the last sort of three weeks or so. It um, started with some interesting challenges, which the, the boys did a great job of overcoming. And then for about 11 days, Britannia was in dry dock immediately behind us here in Leith. Um, the boys have worked incredibly hard over that, that period of time, very long and hard hours, undertaking an awful lot of work. Uh, sadly, most of it, other than in dry dock, you wouldn't see again. Um, the hull was in absolutely pristine condition. Um, the anodes that are there to protect her were in uh, very good condition given it's been nearly 14 years since Britannia was last in dry dock. Um, they were all replaced, the hull was um, treated and repainted, um, but at the same time there's been an enormous amount of other work been undertaken, um, st stuff that um, normally couldn't really be take place other than when we're close to visitors. We're frantically now finishing off these works, looking forward to 
you know, a bigger team in on early next week and opening for the visitor again on Wednesday, the 1st of February 2012.